Here we go. Okay, so the furry fandom isn't that hard to understand. It's a bunch of people who like anthropomorphic animals, which are animals with humanoid characteristics that enable them to behave like humans. The average furry will create their own anthropomorphic animal character that they identify with, better known as a fursona, and do one or more of the following things. Get a reference sheet of their fursona, commission artwork of their fursona, or play online as their fursona, and or commission a fursuit to cosplay as their fursona. Furries also enjoy going to local fur meets, often taking place at bowling alleys for some reason, or going to annual furry conventions, and sometimes always taking part in cringe activity. That's basically it. No fandom is exempt from a few bad apples shining a negative light on an entire community and unfairly making their rest of the community look bad, and the furry fandom is no exception. In the past, members of the furry fandom have been exposed for being disgusting, evil people, however the rest of the fandom is quick to cast them out. Within the fandom, there are also professional gooner kings who go absolutely feral for Judy Hopps, Roxanne Wolf, Chica, and other bad bitches. I am not going to lie to you, a lot of furries are very horny, however they don't make up the majority of the fandom either. It's statistically proven that out of 1,581 furries, approximately 621 of them are daydreaming about being tied up and butt-fucked by Glamrock Freddy. That's all. While these minorities do exist, they should not overshadow the people who are just interested in the furry fandom as a hobby. Time. 57 seconds, nailed it. There you go. That's the furry fandom. Before I get out of here, I just want to say, uh, two years ago, almost two years ago, I made a video pretty much just like this. It was furry, and furry fandom described in under a minute, but this one's a lot better. But in that video, I said, I'm going to go to Anthrocon 2023 and how wrong I was, but I am going this year. I have my hotel booked. See you there, I guess.